how how impressed or pleased were you with Alfred's play throughout the year? Um, very encouraging. You know, Al Alfred came in and um, you know I, I thought all things considered did a really good job. Very challenging for a rookie point guard to come in and play um, the type of minutes he played. You know, there's such an adjustment period mentally and physically um, for a, any type of point guard when you're a rookie, let alone a, a starting point guard. So I think we saw as the season progressed, um, he became more comfortable in, in the way he was operating on the floor. And we'll certainly expect him to continue that trend here throughout the offseason and, and come back even better. Should he, what, should he win rookie of the year? That's not, me, that's not for me to say, but I think he's made a pretty good case. Robbie, if you fall in the draft where you where the odds say you are, it, it, and while the already young guys everywhere, is there how much thought is put into maybe move that to? Yeah, it's a good question, Brian. We'll, we'll explore everything. You know, I, I think we're in a good position to um, to acquire a good player in the draft. You know, I, I think the draft um, will allow us to do that. But again, I, I think we have to consider all our options at this point. Help me understand something, please, because I, I don't understand much. Why does openness about in a league that's embracing transparency? Why does why would openness about your coaching search? Why would that hurt the integrity of the process? It would. I, I, did I say it would hurt it? Uh, it would. Have, well, it would impact integrity of the process. One would think that if it would impact the integrity of the process positively, you you'd. Uh, well, yeah, I, that's it's just an organizational you preference. It's, a, it's an organizational preference to keep it that way. Did it's not right or wrong. It's just did a you preference. scout the final four? I'm sure you did. Or I did. Yeah. Yes. Can you, you're allowed to talk about What do you think about Kaminsky? I can't talk about that. Yeah. Well, I can talk about seniors. He's, he's a senior. Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> 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 Rob, is there, are, are you committed in his office? obvious question, but are you committed to this young core, or are you guys looking at the last three years and Sorry. maybe thinking about overpaying for a free agent, of bringing in some immediate help, guys, that, veteran guys that have an immediate impact? You know, Brian, again, we believe in our players. We believe in our young players. We believe in um, the group we have. We believe in their ability to get better. We really do. Um, we're very young. It's tough to win in this league when you're young. We're aware of that. Um, we need to continue to add to the team in spots. We need to continue to make sure we have that balance of, of youth and, and veteran. Um, but yeah, we really believe in these guys. We believe in their ability to get better, and, and we see them being here. Do you have enough room for a max guy? Yes. But that would be it? That's probably the, the extent of your room? It would depend, but more or less, yeah, probably. Is this still a, I mean, it used to be a pretty good free agent destination, and, and you guys have obviously struggled the last three years. Is it still a good free agent destination? I think so. I would say emphatically yes. Um, obviously, we have a, a great city, great weather, no state tax, great facility. Uh, we have a, an organization that's committed to winning. We have a, uh, an ownership, the DeVos family, who's committed to winning. And so I, I would say absolutely this is a great spot. Rob, how hard is it going to be now to, to lure free agents when you have uh, marquee franchises that in the past really haven't been down like the Lakers and the Knicks and the Celtics also competing for those things? Yeah, I think it's always challenging. Anytime you're in a, a situation where you're trying to recruit a free agent, a lot of times um, whether a, a team does or doesn't fit a player is relative to that player. So I think it's hard to paint it with a broad brush. I think um, certain guys – lean towards certain cities or teams or what have you, and our job is to make sure that we continue to pinpoint the right type of guys for this organization, the high-character guys, guys who want to work, want to play unselfish, um, and, and who want to be a part of something that, that has some continuity to it. Does this, team need a, in, does this team need to improve its level of uh, meanness, its level of nastiness and during when you announce Peyton and Aaron Gordon, you said you were looking for some hard-nosed dudes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we need more. We can never have enough hard-nosed dudes. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you instill that in, in a group here that often has trouble responding to opponents' runs? You know, I, I don't... I think a lot of it, again, is the learning curve. It's more about 
instilling confidence. It's more about understanding how to execute, right? It's the corporate knowledge piece. I think as that starts to elevate, I think some of the toughness and the greediness and the competitiveness will elevate as well. Everyone good? I would assume you would, there are some coaches in the playoffs now that you would wait till the playoffs or before you name a coach? Or? What's that saying? Assume. What happens when you assume? What? I, I don't forget. remember. <laughs> it makes an A and an S or I don't, I'm not really sure. I, I forget that one, but I just remember there's some type of cliche that goes along with the word assume. So we will not make any assumptions, Mike. So you will, there is no timetable on naming this coach? Correct. You will wait, whatever the guy Well, is. we have to have a coach in place before training camp. Well, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> but as far as the playoffs, I mean, if, if guys, guys get fired, guys, you know, in good situations, bad situations, guys get fired. Yeah, one of the reasons we, we want to make sure we uh, don't discuss specifics, we want to make sure that we're exploring everything. Um, making sure that we're looking at everything and considering all options. Thanks. Thanks.